There is a big story out of Rome this week. Pope Francis is now allowing all priests to absolve women who have had abortions. Now, this actually is an extension of special permission that the Pope granted them in 2015. The Catholic Church has long held that abortion is a moral evil. Pope Francis said today there is no sin that God's mercy cannot reach and wipe away. Tonight, we have local reaction to all of this from opposing sides. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson live in our newsroom with more now. Keith, in the past, only a bishop could grant absolution for a follower who admitted to having an abortion. But in the year the Pope has deemed the year of mercy, all Catholic priests are able to grant forgiveness. In a letter made public Monday, Pope Francis told Catholics around the world that all priests are able to absolve followers of abortion. And the whole point of the letter really was to remind the church, all of us, that just because the year of mercy has ended does not mean our commitment to be merciful and to need mercy ourselves has ended. Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Buffalo, Richard Malone, says the Pope's apostolic letter addresses several topics, including regularly attending Mass and knowing God's mercy. But the 10-page letter addresses a special permission for priests to forgive women or health care providers for participating in abortion, a decision Bishop Malone says has been exercised in Buffalo and across the U.S. since the 80s, but not in other parts of the world. In as, in as simple and loving way as we can to invite people to be touched by the mercy of God in the sacrament of uh, confession. Both Bishop Malone and Pope Francis agree this announcement, although monumental, does not change the church's view or stance on abortion as, quote, grave moral evil. Whether or not um, they're told it's a sin, they do something that they feel is important for their own lives and for their families. But Catherine Morrison, medical director of Buffalo Women's Services, says despite the church's move, she doesn't believe this will have an impact on secular health care. Majority of women who come for pregnancy termination uh, feel confident that they are doing the right thing and they don't require uh, an okay from either uh, a religious leader or anyone else. And this move is just the latest by the Pope to bring back groups previously marginalized to the church back to the church, including divorcees, gays, and lesbians. I'm live in the newsroom, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Sierra, thank you.